You good? Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So Davis is kind of the conscience of the series. Would you agree? Yeah. And the Hound is more like the cynical old killer guy. Like they're yeah. they're pretty different. Like, what are your thoughts on the similarities and the differences? I think we could have a, we could if we could do a good double act. Uh, the Hound and Davos. Well, we do it at night time, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Shh. We're trying to be professional here, young man. You know, I'm a, um, the Hound is a big... Um, he's a useful fighter, you know. I mean, that's his main skill, really. Yeah, and Davos is a, is a, is a bit of a... He's, he's pretty good on the lateral thinking. Yeah, and your brains. You have your brain, yeah, brains and... Brain, a good mix of brains and brawn. Yep. Maybe that could be a good spin-off series. We're on a road trip. Right, yeah, road trip. That'll yeah. work. <laughs> Let's have a chat with George about that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Davos, Davos may on the Hound, take Essos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Would you like to explore your characters in a spin off series? This, listen, there isn't an actor on the planet, I think, doesn't want to be in Game of Thrones. We, myself, and Mr. McCann here are incredibly lucky yeah. to be in a story of this quality, which, which has magnificent writing. Mm incredible characterizations and surprises and just all around just gorgeous television uh, and <clears> to repeat the quality of this I mean this, this show is unique and it'll, it'll never be repeated there will be and there is other fantastic TV out there but 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 for something like this it's it's uh, it's absolutely unique and it's uh, it, it'll just it'll never be repeated yeah you feel the same yeah, I mean, you could go anywhere. All these, uh, and every character's got so much meat to them, and you could have a road trip for everyone. Yeah. Um, but you know, when do you stop? I mean, they could just talk about. There's all sorts of talk that you could carry on, and yeah, yeah. I think that this, this particular, the Game of Thrones. I mean, I mean, obviously, we heard about the the rumors, which is that's all they heard at the minute. I mean, they're having a look at these things for. I think you should always leave them. <coughs> they always leave. Like leave Marilyn, leave, yeah, leave them wanting more. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't. And if I'll the Beatles done. were still going, we wouldn't be talking about them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if James Dean and Marilyn Monroe were still alive now, we wouldn't be talking about them. You, you get out. Not that we're comparing us to the Beatles or any of that, but um, but this 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 story has to come to an end. I mean, it's it's a lot of work. I mean, the the guys, very hard work writing this thing and keeping up the quality and attention to detail. But we don't know how it's going to end. That's the thing as well. Yeah, we have no idea. Yeah, we just know it will. We don't know how it's going to end. When we all get together, we're just pointing at each other and going, you're going down, man. You're going down to number two, we know it. <laughs> we're just guessing. We, throw, we all throw rumours out about the deaths of each other and try to annoy people and try mm. to make them... Yeah, we do terrible things to each other in this. Yeah. Do you even bet on your dicks? Do we... Uh, what? Like bet no. money on... Uh... No, we don't bet. No, we don't bet money. They don't pay <laughs> us enough. <laughs> OK. <laughs> um... Well, can you tell me about your worst day on set, like each one of you? I was, uh, I would say when I've done Iceland shoots where we've been in a hot, hot truck, a hot place to do my makeup for four hours mm. and I'm, I'm sorry, I've got furs on or armour on and I'm really hot and I've got a whole load of sweat underneath my prosthetic that can only be drained out every few hours but it builds up and then you go out into a blizzard minus 20 and you're out there for a few hours and literally you've got a block of ice underneath your latex prosthetic wow. glamour that the nice. glamour for, how, for how long are you makeup though um we're down to we're down to about two hours now oh, okay which is still a pain in the hole <laughs> <laughs> what about you liam I'm in makeup for about 32 seconds. Oh. I have a shower, I go in, I sit in the place, uh, and they get a sponge with some dirt on it, and they do that, and I go, off you go. And I still moans about it. <laughs> I do not mind. <laughs> no, uh, How yeah. do you feel about um, getting closer to the end? I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about it. I'd be, I'd be happy to go on. If you could keep the quality to, uh, up, uh, I'd be, I would be happy to go on ad infinitum, as they say, and I think most of the fans would, but it's not, it's not, it's not that kind of show. The, re the reason it's as good as it is, mm. I mean, we've all seen our, some of our favourite shows. I don't want to name any of them, but we know what I'm talking about, who have overstayed their welcome and who should have ended 10 seasons ago. 
uh, and the, the quality just keeps going down and down and that yeah. and, and you you uh, you spend the goodwill that you've been given you know uh, we need to get out when uh, at the end of the story which is which is next episode next season yeah